Welcome to this M48 pattern replay and the M48 pattern here is being driven for us by Tono13 from 322 and he actually sent me quite a, a number of replays of the pattern in general, the tier 9 and the tier 10 and I had a look at all of, all of them and this one uh, basically was I think for my channel the best one because uh, there was not as much gold firing being done which I mean, arguably with the current balancing with the mouses and Type 5s which are completely overbuffed armor-wise and many many more tanks getting overbuffed uh, in the armor department uh, Premium ammo is becoming more and more mandatory which is a terrible way to balance your game but unfortunately that's the way that Wargaming chooses to go with this uh, game which is uh, sad um, because it, no longer it's mostly down to skill if you actually uh, get an engagement done it's basically who loads the most premium ammo uh, does the most damage on on most occasions for um, let's say bad to average players which is uh, the majority of the player base obviously good players will still do a lot of damage with standard ammo uh, but it's mostly the, um, the so to speak lower skilled players which benefit mostly from premium ammo because they penetrate shots that they normally would not penetrate um, so but yeah aside from that um, the enemy team is is quite a, has quite a presence on this flank, and the an enemy AMX 50B and AMX 30 are on the dip against the friendly E50. Um, Tono is trying to just put some fire in on this flank on uh, enemies that poke over the ridges. Uh, basically, just trying to keep that E50 alive. But um, yeah, there's quite a quite a lot of people just yoloing in, and as we can see here. Uh, the E50 basically gets surrounded by three mediums, loses all H HP and dies. Um, while Tono on top here tries to do as much damage as possible to enemy tanks that still expose themselves. Um, he managed to put uh, quite some nice shots into those Nomi guys in the E50Ms. Um, and here comes the, the first and pretty much the only mistake in my opinion that I saw in this replay is that he's still focusing on this T10 while he would have have to or it would have been far better for him to actually shoot those enemy mediums there right in front of him because basically one of his mediums dies for free um, because he's too late to to back him up or yeah no it was a t10 actually sorry it looked like a medium but anyway the t10 basically died because tono could have actually gone to this location where he goes now to actually shoot this dipstick in the side so he actually uh, the t10 might have actually survived um but yeah, unfortunately he didn't. So that was really the only the only uh, uh, negative thing that I saw in this replay. Um, enemy Type 4 Heavy shooting premium HE, of course, because that gun is very good for the game. Uh, and Tono at this moment starts to realize that soon he'll be completely surrounded. I mean, there's a friendly bad shot on the right, but he won't hold off uh, an Emil. Uh, Kranwagen actually, Emil, Emil 2 um, so yeah he's uh, pretty much screwed here if he stays here he realizes that so he needs to pull back um, even though there's an order loader there he tries to snap a shot in but just keeps driving and he's loaded the premium now and obviously in this engagement loading uh, premium ammo against that Japanese type 4 completely overbuffed heavy and the these number of enemy tanks uh, loading premium is the right thing to do um, up until now he actually just fired regular ammo so yeah he's uh, just too late uh, killing the email 2 and just too late killing the T10 but he will be able to put some nice fire in um, and these uh, type 4 type 5 heavies uh, one of um, Wargaming's uh, balancing guys actually um, made the classic quote now on um, which is going around on the EU forums as well that uh, the type 5 heavy was uh, was balanced this way because it was very hard to play because um, if you got an open map you were basically screwed uh, so they had to completely overbuff the armor uh, so you couldn't penetrate it anymore with regular ammo and they had to give it a gun which uh, basically does more damage if you pay more money so yeah a fabulous job GG Wargaming everyone was uh, laughing at you for those stupid statements you really did a fine job there um, but Tono in the meantime just tries to uh, do his best um, there's still three enemy no four enemy tanks on this flank 
while the um, enemy uh, uh, 50B, which is a good player, is uh, on the other flank, luckily. So that uh, gives him one less worry. There's no order loader that can just come in and clip him, which is good. He thinks about shooting this RU, but then the RU nicely exposes himself. T30 tracks him. Enemy 50B is coming back, so Tono ramps this light tank to get rid of him as fast as possible. And the 50B, luckily, is going for the easy shots instead of the important targets. Focuses on the T30, which is completely not the right tank to focus in this engagement. Because Tono is the best player on the team, and he's got quite a bit of damage. So that guy obviously maybe doesn't have XVM installed or didn't see the clan tag. Uh, but luckily for Tono, he actually focused on the T30. So now he's the only guy left, and Tono just tries to go in to see if he can get some more damage. Friendly light tank is just running around. Seems that he's ammo racked, reloading for 11 seconds. Uh, Tono takes care to not ram him. 50 B seems tracked or is... Oh no, he's just looking around. So he managed to put a shot into Tono but he dies and that was the match. So let's take a look at the results. So here we have the results for the match and the pattern. As you can see, 182,000 credits, but that's most probably with a bonus. And it looks like a 5 times XP special as well. But yeah, 1360 base XP for a grand total of 7,700 damage. Quite a bit more than his team did, and quite a bit more than anyone on the enemy team did as well. So, not too shabby. And as we can see, yeah, battle payments here for the clan and he got some extra as well this doesn't add up so i don't know where the extra credits came from maybe top of the tree i don't know um so he got quite a bit of credits but obviously not a realistic figure with all those uh, all those bonuses but 32 shots fired 27 hits 21 penetrations is pretty good actually damage block by armor 1300 it's a medium tank so you're not going to block 6k damage on average um still 1300 1400 blocked is nice some assistance damage as well and yeah as you can see times 5 xp here so he managed to get quite a nice um xp hole there um, i hope he had accelerated crew training enabled because that uh, would have given him quite a uh, bit of a bonus so yeah um really nice match i hope you enjoyed it if you did feel free to rate it subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time